Well, this is April Pelch with Laptop Magazine, and we're here today at the Intel Developer Forum looking at something that's not quite from Intel. Our friend Sasha at Netbook News picked up this really exciting Asus EPAD slider tablet, uh, and you'll see that uh, this is really one of the most unique tablets on the market. It's not available yet in the U.S., but it will be very shortly. Uh, he bought it for 450, the equivalent of $450 U.S. with 32 gigabytes of internal storage, which is a great price. We hope the price is kind of similar. Um, you'll notice that this has a standard honeycomb operating system, although it doesn't look like Tron, like so many other honeycomb devices do. It kind of has a kind of garden feel here, and the little icons are slightly different than you'll find on something like the Motorola Zoom. Um, but uh, otherwise, this co collection of apps is pretty standard and it's got a 1280 by 800 resolution but the panel's a little brighter and viewing angle's better than a lot of other things because it's an IPS panel. Now you'll notice as you look around this that it's a little bit thick here you know it's about an inch and it weighs about two pounds but there's a good excuse for that. This is one of the most innovative tablets around. Let's put it down on the table here and you'll see where what really makes it stand out is that it is a slider and outslides the keyboard. A full QWERTY keyboard um, right here on the ASUS ePad uh, and you'll see if you take a look at it that you've got your full range of keys and some of these keys interestingly enough will let you do things in the Android operating system a little bit so let's say for some reason you're against touching the screen you can use the arrow keys here to kind of move around the apps it's a little hard to see on film but it actually highlights different apps and will move you to the other desktop um, you can also use, there's a home button here, which will take you back to the home screen, a back button, um, a menu button, uh, and a search button, all on the keyboard. So if you're typing away and you don't want to pick up your finger and touch the screen, uh, you can execute those functions directly from the hardware keyboard. Other things you can do with the hardware keyboard we noticed, which are kind of cool, is you can turn on and off the Wi-Fi, you can turn on and off, you can turn the brightness up and down, and you can turn on and off the Bluetooth, uh, all using the function key and some key combination down here. Uh, otherwise, uh, looking around this device, um, you'll see that the set of apps it has are pretty standard. Um, perhaps in America this would be different, but you know what it's come with here, nothing particularly special. Um, here in terms of uh, in terms of special custom apps that would really make you excited about the software of it. Um, let's take a, just a quick look at the ports on this thing because it does have a nice selection of ports. So over here uh, on the right side we've got a full USB port and when you pop a USB key in here, which I did last night, uh, it allows you to actually use a file manager on here to drag and drop or view files off the USB key something that we've seen on a couple other products such as the Toshiba Thrive um, and the upcoming ThinkPad tablet but it's not on every note not on every tablet in the market so that's pretty cool headphone jack over here top side here we've got an HDMI out and we've got the docking connector uh, unfortunately this doesn't take a standard USB connector but that's kinda commonplace these days um, and over here we've got a micro SD card slot and we've got our volume controls and our power button. And uh, just to take a quick look at the back here, uh, we've got our 5 megapixel camera, and we've got this really nice rubberized surface here. Like everything in life should be, the, the surface here and the sides are rubberized, which makes this very nice, nice and grippable. Uh, and it's got this kind of chrome accent here. And the last thing I'd like to show you actually as we slide this up is, what's interesting is the back um, over here looks fantastic and this itself is kind of a nice really solid metal design so you really feel like you could slide this open and closed a million times and it wouldn't fall apart and it would stay stable uh, so that's just kind of a quick look at the ASUS ePad slider we look forward to checking this out in more detail when we get one into review but for now um, this was just a quick look at this really innovative device